fair use allows to distribute, reproduce, and show clips for criticism, commenting, reporting, teaching, and research of copyrighted material without authorization of the copyright. Walt Disney's subliminal messages. Well, first of all, what is a subliminal message? A subliminal message is a signal or message designed to pass below the normal limits of perception, making it inaudible or unperceived by the conscious mind, yet audible and perceived by the subconscious mind. It is widely disputed whether or not subliminal messages affect our subconscious, but what is not disputed is that the subconscious mind can affect conscious behavior, and superliminal stimuli, things we know are there but aren't paying attention to consciously, can directly influence that. This was proven in a psychological study done which set out to see if the music that stores played could affect the choices of wine the customers purchased. On one day they played German music and German wine outsold French wine, the next day they played French music and the reverse happened. Responses to a questionnaire suggested that the customers were unaware the effects of the music had on their choices, so they heard the music but weren't aware of how it influenced their selections, proving stimuli influencing the subconscious mind can influence conscious behavior. Subliminal messages are used in a wide array of ways by corporations, some being more subtle such as Tostito showing two people eating chips together in the logo, and some using deliberate sexual messages such as Coca-Cola amongst others. Well hey, I guess sex sells, but what people are beginning to notice are the sexually explicit messages appearing throughout almost all of Walt Disney's films, as well as other subliminal messages. There are three types of subliminal messages. Subvisual messages, visual cues flash so quickly or hidden so well that people don't perceive them. Subaudio messages, low volume audio cues inserted into a louder audio source. And backmasking, an audio message recorded backwards with the intention of playing it forwards to disguise the hidden message. The two we are going to focus on are subvisual and subaudio messages, as backmasking is widely disputed by people. A recent TED talk alluded to the point that when people are told a certain audio clip says something specific, they are more likely to hear that. But when aren't told what the audio clip says beforehand, people have a hard time hearing anything at all. This is also why we are only going to present one subaudio message. Subvisual messages. Okay, I know what people are thinking. No way, not Disney movies! Those are innocent for children's entertainment! And I know, which is why finding all of these subliminal messages hidden throughout Disney movies particularly disturbing. From images of reproductive organs to the word sex, subliminal messages are riddled throughout these movies. Even in Monsters, Inc. as well, a child's drawing of adultery committed by the mother is shown in one scene. They are literally in almost every Disney movie or TV show. Once you've seen a few of them, they begin to become blatantly obvious. When I first seen these, it felt like the first time I found out Santa Claus wasn't real. The one that bothered me the most was The Lion King. The Lion King was my favorite Disney movie. In almost every other scene, there is some sort of sexually explicit subliminal message, and the word sex is found numerous times throughout the movie, such as here, when Simba falls to the ground and a puff of dust rises to the air spelling the word sex. After the first 10 subliminal messages, it can no longer be cast aside as mere coincidence. Okay, Walt Disney, um, what's going on here? Sub-audio messages. Now I want you to hear it for yourself. After the scene, I'll tell you what I think it says. Leave me alone. <laughs> so how's our little bow doing? Come on, good kids. Take off the <laughs> Here it is again. Notice Jasmine even reacts to the phrase. So how's our little bow doing? Come on, good kids. Take off the <laughs> Here it is again, much slower. Come on, good kids. Damn. Well, in my opinion, you can hear someone say, Good teenagers take off their clothes, or take off your clothes. Let me know what you heard in the scene in the comment section below the video. Did we hear something similar? Did you hear anything at all? Anyways, let's move on. The reasons why marketing experts and professors say why subliminal messages are used is to correlate the products with our needs and desires, be it subconsciously or consciously. Now I can understand that logic, but why would a children's entertainment company use sexually explicit subliminal messaging? I can only offer my own opinion on this, and I want you to come up with your own reason why you think Disney does this. Why is this particularly frightening for me? These are movies and television shows designed for little kids. Little kids do not have the same needs and desires as adults that would enjoy something like a beer commercial. They certainly don't have sexual needs or desires. But what they do have are impressionable minds. Everything they witness at a young age influences a child's development, so it's not illogical to assume these images are affecting children psychologically.
What makes it even scarier is television itself. TV is a controlling medium, relaxing us enough to switch off our analytical brain, the left hemisphere, so that we uncritically process information. Our brains undergo a similar process under hypnosis. This similarity is proven by Dr. Eric Sigmund's book called Remotely Controlled. Under hypnosis, we become more open to the suggestions of the practitioner. Hypnosis may be considered an unusual or extreme solution to certain problems, but it only takes 30 seconds for us to be put into a similar state while watching television. This was proven by the findings of Professor Herbert Krugman from a study in 1971, and he concluded that we do not think about the information transmitted via television. In other words, the way television communicates is a form of brainwashing. Left in this state for some time can make one less inventive in problem solving and less able to concentrate. In the UK, television is used to keep prisoners quiet and is regarded as one of the best control mechanisms by the Prisoner Governors Association as it subdues behavior, and it is a cheap and effective way to do so. So it's particularly frightening to me because not only are children being bombarded with sexually explicit subliminal imagery, as you can clearly see, but it is occurring while they're in an altered state of consciousness similar to being under hypnosis. It wouldn't be illogical to believe that there is some sort of psychological programming being orchestrated by Walt Disney. Again, it's disputed whether or not subliminal messages affect us subconsciously, even though corporations seemingly use them over and over again. But if they do, our subconscious mind can directly affect our conscious thoughts and behaviors. All of the information used in this video can be found in the description below. What subliminal messages have you seen in Disney movies that weren't shown in the video? Do you think subliminal messages affect us? Whatever your thoughts are, please leave them in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe for new conspiracy videos every week.